While my BFFs and I were drooling over those boots, I suddenly discovered that Brianna must have got bored and wandered out for something. Luckily, I spotted her pigtails in the cosmetics de- department across the aisle. Brianna was sitting in a fancy chair in front of a mirror, applying makeup and humming to herself. Brianna, what are you doing? I scolded. You shouldn't be play- playing in that stuff. Besides, you're way too young for makeup. She turned away from the mirror, looked at me and smiled. The OMG, I thought my eyes were going to actually rupture and bay. All that point size had glittery eyeshadow, bl- glittery blue, electric blue eyeshadow all the way up to her eyebrows, way too much blush around her t- cheeks and a, a purple lipstick that smeared acro- around her mouth. She batted her false eyelashes at me, but with spider wave were crooked and hanging off her eyelids like skinny caterpillars. Don't I look beautiful, darling? She purred and posed like a model. Brianna's makeover. I couldn't help, uh, I could he- think of several words to be- describe her makeup, but beautiful wasn't one of them. Sorry, Brianna, you look a cross between Miss Piggy and a zombie. Now put those makeup samples back where you found them. Or you, your face won't, you, your, so you won't scare you, scare the other shoppers until I have to put a bag over your head. Meanie, she muttered her, under her breath and stuck her tongue out. Meanie, when I saw a shove of tube of lipstick back into the ba- new packaging, I almost had a bra- heart attack. OMG, Brianna, I yelled as, as I sorted to the small pile of makeup she opened and used these are in samples um what are sma- samples brianna asked blinking mindlessly with her lopsided lashes don't you understand i cried we have to pay for all of this stuff otherwise you'll be stealing so then i went dressed up for money for brandon's gift me using pretty much all of my cash to Pay the sales clerk for the makeup Brianna opened. I ended spending all of, on most all of it. I had a whooping three dollars and ten cents left. We had a, we had to spend Brianna's and we had to spend that on Brianna's makeup remover tissues and wash a, wash and gunk the gunk of Brianna's face. Thank goodness Chloe and Zoe were there to help me clean her up. They're the best friends ever. Now that I'm flat at broke, how am I going to buy Brandon a gift? There's no way I'm going to show up at his party with no present. That would be so tacky. Maybe I should tell him the truth. I can't attend because I'm suffering from a severe case of BFS, also known as Brianna Fatigue Symptom. Why, why, why was I not born an only child? Sunday, January 26th. Answering all those Miss Noda letters is starting to get a little exhausting. So I've been racking my brain trying to come up with a way to get them done all done in less than an hour. So I think I've finally come up with the perfect solution to a form letter, also known as the Miss Noda Quick Pick Advice Form Letter. Dear, insert name. Reading a very sad letter, disturbing letter, crazy letter, freaky letter. With was so touching that it actually made me cry like a baby, scared the snot out of me, made me laugh so hard I cried, made me so sick I vomited. And I was once in a similar situation when I tried on my grandma's fall seat, stepped on a poopy nappy, ate an entire box of doggy snacks, realized my breath smelled like liver onions, and seriously thought about just giving up. I realized that this problem is overwhelming, that you have probably have you probably feel so nauseous, angry, afraid, confused. That you want to dye your hair purple, eat a plate of fried worms, dress as a very large pig, shove your hot dog up your nose. Anyway, after a careful thought and your consideration of a issue you're having with your crush, your parents, your best friend, your neighbor's dog, I, can, I feel the best advice for you would be Run away screaming, join the circus, take a relaxing bubble bath, get a new family. This should help relieve humiliation, desperation, aggravation, constipation, you have been experiences. Just remember that no matter how gloomy, smelly, itchy, rotten things are right now, it always gets better. I hope this advice 
was helpful. Your friend, Miss Noroy. Okay, I'll admit, it still needs a little more work before I send it, start sending it out to students. But this will definitely save me a lot of time. Am I not brilliant? Monday, January 27. I had a bad case of indigestion, which wasn't from those microbial wing dings thingies that I munched on a few hours ago. It was the second thoughts about this whole newspaper thing. My advice column requires to be me to write a do- dozens of essay length letters to tr- my troubled and tormented peers, giving them sound, unbiased, and intelligent advice. And uh, the thought of me being Miss Nodal is still hilarious. Hey, at last person, I'm the last person that I ever want to take advice from. I had been to sitting at my desk, uh, setting my huge pile of letters to Miss Nodal for so long, my butt was actually numb. Me sitting there and s- me sitting there f- setting in a huge pile of letters for so long that my lo- butt was numb. I don't know where to begin. Why is this so hard? I groaned, cover my face with my hand. I had no idea I could be exhausted by doing nothing, but I was. That's when I heard, I thought I heard a giggle behind me. But when I turned around, no one was there. All the stress and lack of sleep was obviously making delivery. When I turned back to my laptop, I was a little freaked out to see a two scribble on eyes, a crooked mouth and hand all up my face. Hi, I'm Miss Penelope and I can't find my snow boots. I think I left them in here, Brianna said in a high squeaky voice that could have shattered, shattered glass. Don't ever sneak up on me like that, I snapped. You almost scared the wingdings out of me. But Brianna and Miss Penelope both smiled, just smiled and stared at me, me a very evil mannequins or something. Brianna and Penelope, Miss Penelope scared the wingdings out of me. Nearly scared the wingdings out of me. Have you completely lost it, Brianna? Miss Penelope doesn't even have feet. Does too, she said, suck her tongue out of me. Just get lost and tell Miss Penelope to stop leaving her invisible junk in my room. I don't think Brianna ha- heard a word I said. Very short attention span her was already diverted to my computer screen. What's your writing? She asked.